Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Gomez, and today we are back for another statue tutorial, starting off with a new series, or I guess continue with of a old one. We are doing another Five Nights at Freddy statue with the release of Five Nights at Freddy's 6, otherwise known as Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Rear Simulator. So, if you haven't already seen that was released on Steam, I believe, a day or two ago, so of course I got straight on designing because I knew a lot of you guys would request it, already saw a bunch of requests coming in. So, today we are starting off with Rockstar Freddy. So it's again another Freddy Fazbear variant, but this is the Rockstar Edition, so without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. So the blocks you're going to need are the following, you'll need black concrete, spruce planks, acacia planks, yellow concrete, yellow wool, purple concrete, purple wool, light grey concrete powder, bear in mind that's the powder, not the actual concrete, stone brick slab, block of quartz, blue concrete, light blue concrete, pink terracotta, oak planks, cobblestone wool, quartz slabs, black carpet, and red carpet. So I'm going to give you guys a second to pause right there, grab them blocks into your inventory, and then we can get straight into building. So, a brief outline of the design. This is very similar to the Funtime Freddy statue we did a while ago, so if you've already done that, very, very similar. Just different uh, kind of poses and different colorings. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, just like normal, we're going to start off by building the front side of the legs. The front side of the legs is 12 tall and 8 blocks wide, so let's begin. We're going to find a nice empty space, and as you can see, that's not a problem for me. We're going to start off with our first layer. Again, bear in mind, each layer is 8 wide, there's 12 layers in total. Our first layer is going to be 1 black concrete, 1 spruce plank, 1 black concrete, 2 spruce planks, 1 black concrete, 1 spruce plank, and 1 black concrete and that is layer number one layer number uno as you can see again black concrete spruce black concrete spruce spruce black concrete spruce black concrete so a very simple pattern now the good news is the second layer is the exact same so it's going to be again one black concrete one spruce one black concrete two spruce black concrete spruce and black concrete and that is layer number two layer number three and layer number four is going to be eight spruce planks so that's very, very simple. And then we're going to cap it off with layer number five, which is going to be eight black concrete. As you can see, it's currently five blocks tall, eight blocks wide. And this is what we've got so far. So after every single layer, I'll back up and give you guys the opportunity to pause if you need to do so. If not, of course, just keep on going. So the next layer, which is the layer number six, is going to be one spruce plank, two acacia planks, two spruce, two acacia, one spruce, and essentially what that is to signify is the orange joints, which is in his knees. Theoretically, they could be here as well if you wanted them to, so you could do a two by two like that if you really wanted to, but personally, I don't like it so much. So what I've done is I've put the orange part above the joint rather than technically in the joint, um, so that's kind of what that signifies. And again, that is layer number six. For layer number seven, and indeed layer number eight, we're gonna do another two layers of eight spruce planks so again that's layer number seven and layer number eight is eight spruce planks layer number nine is going to be three spruce planks two black concrete and three spruce planks layer number 10 is going to be two spruce planks one black concrete two spruce planks one black concrete and two spruce planks our 11th layer our second to last layer is going to be two black concrete four spruce planks and two black concrete and then our 12th and final layer is going to be one black concrete, six spruce planks, and one black concrete. And once you've done that, that is the front of the legs complete. That is a 12 by 8. And of course, if you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. So essentially, again, an outline. We've got the feet there, the toes. We've got the knee joints with the orange knee pads. And of course, we have the kind of pelvis region where the legs connect to the body. So again, that is the legs. Now we've got that, we can now move on to the upper body and the arms. We're not going to do the left arm because that's what we're going to build at the end. It's kind of in a dynamic pose. So continuing anyways with the body, it's going to be 12 tall and 8 wide, just like the legs. So again, 12 layers of 8. And the first layer is going to be simply 8 spruce planks. So again, that's 8 spruce planks. The On the right side, should I say before we do a second layer, just as a pointer out we're going to go four blocks to the right so that's one two three four using spruce planks and the reason we're doing this is because 
the right arm is going to be here, and this is going to be the first layer, so it's kind of just like a starter point, a marker, I guess you could say, of where we're going to build it, and it means we don't have to come back later and count out where it goes, we already have it there, which is perfect. Now, of course, we'd normally do this on the left side, but we're not going to do it on the left side, because, of course, we're going to have the dynamic pose arm on the left holding the microphone. So, we do it on the right, not the left. Anyways, continue with the body, so we're going to continue, ignore that, we'll come back to that later on. On the left side, we're going to place two spruce planks. We're then going to need to do a bit of organization in our inventory. Place four oak planks and two spruce. And then what we're going to do is on the third layer, we're going to place one spruce, six oak, and one spruce. Now, we're going to repeat this six more times. So essentially, just build up six spruce, one, two, three, four, five, six, and repeat the pattern six times so essentially it's seven layers of one spruce six oak and one spruce so seven in total and then you'll end up having something like this so that is as you can see the first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth and ninth layer complete now for the tenth layer we're going to bring it back inwards so we're going to start going back to more of a spruce kind of tone so we're going to place two spruce, four oak, and two spruce. For the eleventh layer, we're going to place eight spruce planks, and then for the twelfth layer, again, exact same eight spruce planks, and it ends up coming out looking something a bit like this. So essentially, again, that's the first layer, which is spruce. We then have layers two to layer ten, which is the middle part, majority, of oak planks, and then eleven and twelve, which is simply spruce. So what we're going to do, because this is looking awfully plain so far, is we're going to add some 3D effects. Now, of course, if you know me, that's got to be a bow tie. Of course, it's Freddy Fazbear anyway, so there needs to be a bow tie. But on the Rockstar model, there is also a star in the middle. So that's what we're also going to go ahead and add. But anyways, talking about the bow tie first, let's not jump ahead to the star. We come to the top left corner, and on the second block, we're going to place a purple concrete. And we're going to go down two. So that's a row of three purple concrete. On the top one, we go one to the right. On the bottom one, we also go one to the right. And right in the middle, in the sandwich, we're going to place one purple wall. We're then going to repeat this on the right side. So we go to the top right corner, go one to the left, place a strip of three purple concrete. On the top one and the bottom one, go one to the left, and right in the middle, we're going to place one purple wall. So you now have two sections like this. Now, in between the two purple wall, we're going to go ahead and place two purple concrete, and we now have a very, very nice bow tie. Now, one thing I want to point out is that the bow tie on the character model is slightly less of like a bright, a luminous purple, and it's a bit more of a darker shade. However, the issue with that is there's no blocks that really match that kind of color. So that's why we've gone for the kind of bright purple. If you want to adjust it, you could, I guess, technically go for like a never brick kind of color, but I think that might be a bit too far. Um, I, personally, I can't really think of any color that really matches it because it's a really strong metallic kind of dark purple color. It's not that dark, but it's like a really... It's, it's darker than this. It's not a bright kind of colour. It's more of a metallic, kind of shiny colour. So, anyways, again, if you want to change it, that's up to you. This is just a guideline, but for the purpose of this, we're going to use purple. So, for the star, what we're going to do is in the middle two blocks, these two here, we're going to count down one, two, and on the third block right here, on the left side, so directly under, we're going to place one yellow concrete, and on the right side, we're going to place a yellow wall. So essentially, there should be a three block gap on the left, and a three block gap on the right, and then a two block gap in between the bow tie and the star. Now, underneath the yellow concrete, we're going to place a yellow wall, and we're going to go one to the left using yellow concrete. Underneath the yellow wall, we're going to place another yellow wall, and we're going to go one to the right using yellow wall. Underneath the two middle blocks, we're going to place, on the left, a yellow concrete, and on the right, a yellow wall. And then what we're going to do is on the left, we're going to go down diagonal to the left using yellow wall. And on the right, we go down diagonal to the right using yellow concrete. And that's going to be our star shape. So again, it's a very basic star. Ideally, you'd go for more of a point at the top, but that's not possible because it's Minecraft. So this is the star design we're going to use. So just a simple mix of yellow concrete and yellow wall, but gives it a nice bit of texture and uh, overall represents the star pretty nicely. So that is a 12 by 8 that is the front side of the body complete. Again, if you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. And now what we're going to do is start working on the right arm. So if you didn't already, come to the 13th layer of the build. Go four blocks out to the right using spruce planks. Hopefully you've done that already. If you have, cool, let's move on. 
So, the second layer, and bear in mind, there's 12 layers in total, each layer is 4 wide. The second and third layer is going to be 4 spruce planks, so right now we should have 3 layers of 4 spruce planks. The fourth layer is going to be 4 black concrete, and then we're going to repeat the pattern. So we're going to do 3 layers of 4 spruce planks, and then a layer for the fourth layer of black concrete. Now, if you've done that correctly, there should be four layers remaining. We're going to do four layers of four spruce planks, so a four by four of spruce, and that will bring you up to the top to the 12 by four, same height as the body. And as you can see, again, just a recap, that is three layers of spruce planks, one layer of black concrete, three layers of spruce planks, one layer of black concrete, and four layers of spruce planks. So yeah, it's as simple as that. Very, very simple design, but um, that's going to be the right arm. So again, this is what it looks like so far. 12x8 for the body, 12x4 for the arm. So, now we've got this, we have a very nice kind of pixel art, but it's not a statue, it's not 3D, it's not looking like a physical actual like character so far. So what we're going to do is actually go ahead and start working on sides, and this time we're going to come to the right side of the lake, which is unusual, we normally start on the left, but we'll start on the right this time. So, starting off at the bottom from this black concrete here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3 to the right using spruce planks. Now, again, just like before, the side is going to be 12 by 4. However, this time, the first block is already done. This is the first block right here. So what that means is we're only placing three blocks per layer because three plus the already existing one is our four. So the first four layers is going to be spruce planks. We're going to do four layers of spruce planks. That's including the first layer. And then the fifth layer, as you can see, matches up with the side. We're going to be placing three black concrete. Now, on top of this, we're going to do five layers of three spruce planks. As you can see, the next layer matches up with black concrete. That's the 11th layer. And then for the 12th layer, we're going to do two spruce planks and one black concrete. So that is the right side of the leg. Again, very basic and kind of reminds you of the old, kind of more simple um, designs that I used to do back in the day. But it's as simple as that. There's no point in overcomplicating it. So we're going to keep it nice and simple. And yeah, that is the right side of the leg. So for the side of the arm, what we're going to have to do first is come around to the rear side and come to the bottom layer of the hand, this layer right here. What we're going to do is bring it back 1, 2, 3, all the way across, and if you do it correctly, that will from below give you a 4x4 four four platform. Now coming to the side, what that will also give you is an L shape, as you can see, which is going to again be a 12x4, so it's 12 tall, 4 wide, and of course the first layer is already complete, which means just like the leg, we're only placing 3 blocks per layer. Now just like the leg, we're basically matching it up to the front side. So the first three layers is going to be three spruce planks. The fourth layer is going to be black concrete, three more layers of spruce planks, a layer of black concrete, and four layers of spruce planks. So exact same as the front side of the arm. So again, just to recap, that's three layers of spruce planks, one layer of black concrete, three layers of spruce planks, one layer of black concrete, and four layers of spruce planks. And from the side angle, it should currently look something like this. So again, the legs are 12 by 4, the arm is 12 by 4, and that is it so far. Now, if you've noticed, the left side is looking a bit plain, and that's what we're going to work on now. So for the left side, essentially, on the leg, we're going to match it to the other side. So, we come to the black concrete here, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3 to the left. And again, just like before, just to recap, 12 by 4, and it's going to match up with this at the side. So the first three layers is going to be, or so to say, the first three layers on top of the original layer, so the first four layers, is going to be three spruce planks. The fifth layer is, of course, three black concrete, because it matches up here. On top of that, we're going to do five layers of spruce planks, and then a layer of black concrete. So that's the equivalent of the 11th layer. For the 12th layer, we're going to do one black concrete and two spruce, and then here's the good part. So that is the leg, that's 12 by 4. For the rest of the body, which is the remaining 12x4, which is the equivalent of the arm, rather than building out and building the side, all we're going to do is just build up 12 using spruce planks. So just build up all the way to the top to the same height as the front side of the body, aka 12 blocks tall, using spruce planks, and it will end up looking like this. So now the side on the left side is 24 tall and 4 blocks wide, and of course you've got the leg part, which goes up to the black concrete, which is 12x4, and then you've got the remaining part, which is simply just a 12x4 of spruce planks. So again, just from a corner angle, just so you can see what it looks like, this is the left side, and then him around to the right side, it looks like this. Okie dokie, wonderful. So, looking nice, until you come around to the rear side, 
and you notice it's uh, it's a bit empty, literally. So we're going to work on the rear side of the legs first, get them out of the way. So again, it's just pretty much a matching up game. Very similar, uh, very similar, should I say, to the front side. So the rear side is 12 by 8. However, left side and right side already have a row, which means two rows already done. So if you subtract that, that means there's six left, of course. So that means we're going to be placing six blocks per layer and, of course, 12 layers in total. So the first four layers is simply going to be placing six blocks of spruce planks matching up left side to right side. So again, the first four layers is simply spruce planks. The fifth layer is going to be six black concrete. And on top of that, for the sixth, seventh and eighth layer is going to be simply spruce planks. For the ninth layer, we're going to do two spruce planks, two black concrete, two spruce planks. And I'll back up again, just so you can see. So again, that's four layers of spruce, one layer of black, three layers of spruce. And then the ninth layer is going to be two spruce, two concrete, two black. Uh, sorry, two black concrete, two spruce. That was a, yeah, I don't know how I said that. The tenth layer is going to be one spruce, one black concrete, two spruce, black concrete, spruce. And uh, any smart people here would notice it's the exact same design as the front, for good reason, because it's a pelvis. The next one, the eleventh layer, is going to be one black concrete, four spruce, one black concrete, and then the final layer is going to be six spruce planks. So that is the rear side of the legs. Again, 12 by 8, very plain, very simple, nice and easy to complete. It gets easier. The rear side of the body, because you can't see it, of course, so we're going to have to assume it's plain, is a 12 by 8 of spruce planks. So all you do is build up 12 blocks using spruce planks, and you're going to do that for all eight layers. However, the eighth one's already done, so you're doing it for seven layers. So literally, just build up 12 blocks over and over until you match up with the side and with the front side. So again, just a kind of repetitive, kind of boring process of going literally up, down, up, down, up, down, like this. And what you can go ahead and do is link the front side to the rear side by placing two blocks in between for each separate layer. And once you've done that, it ends up coming out looking like this. Again, very plain, but that's what we need to do. So that is a 12 by 8. For the rear side of the arm, we're going to keep to the exact same pattern as the front side and the other side. So the first three layers is going to be spruce planks. Again, fourth block already done, or in this case, the first block is already done. So we're going to be placing three blocks per layer. So the first three layers, again, is spruce planks. So the base layer plus two more. The fourth layer is going to be three black concrete. We're then going to do three more layers of spruce planks, a layer of black concrete, and then four more layers of spruce planks. And that brings us all the way up to the top and pretty much wraps up the body with the exception of this one shoulder. For the shoulder, we're going to go ahead and fill in the gap using spruce planks. And once you've done that, that is the body complete minus, I guess, the dynamic pose of the arm. So what we're going to do before we build the arm is have a little opportunity to give you guys uh, to pause the video, catch up, and the way we're going to do this is by going to each specific part of the statue and giving you guys a specific part to pause. So if you want to skip this, again, feel free to just fast forward the video like a minute or two. Um, but anyways, what I'm going to do is fly to specific parts of the statue. So you can see here, this is the front side of the legs. I'm going to state it's the front side of the legs. I'm also going to state that it's 12 blocks tall and 8 blocks wide and has no 3D effects. You're more than welcome to pause. I'm not going to say that every time, but you are, of course, more than welcome. So moving on up, we have the front side of the body. That's again 12 by 8. Does indeed have some 3D effects in the form of the bow tie and the star, which is centered in the middle. And on the right side, we have the arm, which is 12 by 4. Come round to the right side with the right side of the leg, 12 by 4. The underside of the right hand, which is 4 by 4. And the right side of the arm, which is again 12 by 4. Come round to the left side. We have the left side of the leg, which is 12 by 4. And the left side of the body, which is 12 by 4. No arm yet, but we'll worry about that in a minute. And in total, that is 24 tall and 4 blocks wide. Come around to the rear side with the rear side of the legs. That's 12 by 8. Moving on up, we have the rear side of the body, 12 by 8. Again, that's just plain spruce. And the rear side of the right arm, 12 by 4. The shoulders, as you can see here, is 4 thick and 12 blocks wide. And again, it's just simply plain spruce. So hopefully everyone has something that's looking like this. If you don't, I'd recommend going back in the video, seeing where things haven't gone quite to plan and uh, working from there. If you still have any issues, let me know down in the comments below and I'll try and help you on a more personalized basis. But with that said, let's now start working on the left arm. So what we're going to do for this left arm is we're going to come to the left side, of course, and come to the top side 
or the top of the left side, should I say, to be more specific, to this block right here. From here, we're going to count one, two, three, and from the third block, we're going to go one, two, three, four, extending out to the left. Now, we're building as if we're facing side on rather than front on, so it's coming towards us. If you're building front on, it'll be going towards the left. So again, just perspective, there's a two block gap on the left, a one block gap on the right, and it's the top layer. Now, what we're going to do, and this is like a simple pattern, is we're going to go down diagonal once using black concrete, and then three times more using spruce planks. So this is down diagonal to the right, as you can see. So we've got the original one. We'll then go down diagonal once to the right using black concrete, and then three times using spruce planks. From this third one, we're going to go one to the right using black concrete, and then one, two, three to the right using spruce planks. Once you've done that, what you're going to do is build from here down one, two, three, and we're going to build one, two over to the left, one black concrete, so again, just backing up so you can see. Continuing, we're going to place one, two, three, four spruce planks, and it should link up with the side of the body. In continuation of this, we're going to go up diagonal once and twice to the left using spruce planks, and then once more using black concrete. From here on out, we're going to go up diagonal to the left once more using spruce planks, and then up diagonal to the right twice again using spruce planks. Now, if you ignore this part, so if you punch it out, you'll notice we now have a shape. What we're going to do is go ahead and fill it all in using spruce planks. So all within the line, should I say, using spruce planks. And then we'll go ahead and add the detail. So for the detail, and it's just four blocks, in between these two black concretes here, you'll notice there's a spruce plank and another one in between diagonally. What we're going to go ahead and do is remove them and replace it with black concrete. Now in between the two blocks here, you also notice that. So we're going to go ahead and replace that with black concrete, and that's the detailing complete. So now what we're going to do, that's layer number one. We're going to repeat this three more times. You don't actually have to do the middle part because it's going to be covered by the edge. So all you really need to do is go around the outline and extend one, two, three forwards or towards you, should I say, on each block on the outline. So you're literally, as you can see what I'm doing on screen right now, just going around the edge of the build or the edge of what I've just templated and extending with the same colors. Bear in mind, that's a very important point. If it's black concrete, use black concrete. You're using the same colors and you're just bringing it forwards or to the left three blocks and as you can see what that does is it now means that it's four wide just like the other arm and has a nice curve to it as you can see right there now if you come around to the side we don't want this empty hollow edge so we're going to go ahead and fill it all in again just like what we did on the first layer using our spruce planks and then we'll go ahead and do the exact same as before which is replace with black concrete so in the middle of these two replace with black concrete and then the diagonals in the middle here again replace with black concrete and once you've done that, that is the arm complete, as you can see, ends up looking something like this. So head on looks like that. And again, just for perspective, this is the kind of gap in between the top shoulder and the arm. And then front on ends up looking like this. So it's like he's reaching out with his arm. And that's kind of the point because he's going to be holding his microphone. So speaking of the microphone... What we're going to do is grab ourselves our purple concrete and we're going to come to the top side of the hand. So we have this nice three by four area. Starting at the left front corner, we're going to go in one and to the right one to this block here. And we're going to place a purple concrete. We go up to right down. So we now have a two by two, which should be one diagonal from the left and one diagonal from the right. On top of this, we're going to place a two by two of light gray concrete powder. And we're going to place a second layer. So it's now three by two by two. And then what we're going to do is grab ourselves our stone brick slabs and on the upper half of the purple um, concrete we're going to place two stone brick slabs on each side. So make sure it's on the upper half. It's on the, if it's on the lower half it will end up looking like that and that's not good. We want it on the upper half so it's kind of like a rim around the top of the mic handle and it ends up looking something like this. So we have one layer of two purple concrete, two layers of the light grey concrete powder and then what we're going to do is underneath we're going to replicate what we did with the purple. So we come to the front corner, we go in diagonal, place one, front right corner, in diagonal, place one, and then the two blocks behind it. So as you can see, the purple should match up with the same purple here. So essentially, if you mine through like this, it would match up 
with the purple. That's the idea, as you can see. So essentially, the mic is going through his hand. He's gripping it. That's the plan. So don't actually destroy the hand like I just did. But what we're going to do is underneath the purple, we're going to place a 2x2 two two of stone brick slabs. So it ends up doing like that, and it caps it off. Now, on the actual microphone itself, it does have kind of like a cord coming out the bottom. You could go ahead, if you really wanted to, and replace one of the slabs with, say, free uh, cobblestone wall like that. And that could look pretty cool. Um, it does indeed. But, again, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm, I kind of don't like it, because then if you come to a side angle... It looks like that and it doesn't look the best, but again, that's up to you. Feel free to play around with that as you will. But that is the mic complete, and most importantly, that is the arm complete. So again, I'll give you a few more different angles. So that's head on, or side on, should I say. That's head on, and then that's from a right kind of angle. So that is the arm complete. Again, hopefully you have something looking like this. And with that said, we are now ready to move on to the head. So the head, again, is very similar and based off of the Fun Time Freddy head we did a while ago, apart from this time it's using this colour scheme. So what we're going to do is go to the front left corner of the body, which is this one block here, and we're going to place a spruce plank and bring it four forward. So one, two, three, four. On the right side, this time we actually have to count, so we go to the front right corner of the shoulder. One, two, three, four, and on the fifth block we place one spruce plank and bring it one, two, three, four forwards. So four blocks forwards. And what we're going to do is join them together. And then what we're going to do is add one layer on. So we leave one block, we place six blocks of spruce planks, and leave one block. So essentially this is the fifth layer extending over. Go ahead and fill this all in with spruce planks, this whole area here. And that is, again, a 5 by 8 overhang. Or, I guess in some ways, a 4 by 8 overhang with a fifth partial layer. So again... This is a four block extension, and then this is the fifth layer right here. So once we've got this done, this is the front part of the template done. We're going to go around to the side, aka the left side, and expand backwards five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, and exact same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Join together in the middle by placing a six by two area, and that is an eight by two overhang on the rear side. So it's a four plus one overhang on the front side and then a two block overhang on the rear side and what this gives you is our little template which we're going to be using for the head so go ahead and use uh, or fill in should I say this part here with spruce planks just so we have a nice solid shape and essentially once you've done that it should be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten blocks wide and then this is technically the eleventh layer so what we're going to do is rather than doing the front side first, we're actually going to work on the left and right side first, get that out of the way. So we come to the left side and we're in fact on this first layer, we're going to count up one, two, and then place a third spruce plank. And this two block gap, we're going to punch out so you don't have to place anything there. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven over to the right. So basically we now have a layer of eight spruce planks and this is the fourth layer of the head. So there's a two, first layer, which is 10, two block gap, and then a layer of eight from the left side. Now, on top of this layer of eight, we're going to do five more layers the exact same as it. So it's going to be six in total. So that's one, two, three, if I can place the blocks correctly, four, and five. So essentially, we now have a six tall by eight wide um, rectangle of spruce planks. And what we're going to go ahead and do is join them to the bottom part using cobblestone wall. So if you notice, the player model for Rockstar Freddy kind of has like a gap. So his head's kind of split in two. And what we're going to do is on the left side, we're going to count one, two, three. And on the fourth block, we're going to place two cobblestone walls. So one on top of the other. We're then going to leave a two block gap. And on the next block, which is the third one, we're going to place a quartz slab. So two block gap, quartz slab. The next one, we're going to place, again, cobblestone wall. So a cobblestone wall on top of a cobblestone wall. And that will connect to the final block on the layer. And to the right of that block, we're going to place another quartz slab. So it ends up looking something like this. That is, essentially, the left side at this point complete. Now what we can do is on the bottom layer of this spruce uh, wood here, we're going to go two to the right using oak planks. And we'll worry about the rest later on. That's kind of just marking out where the jaw goes. So now what we're going to do is go around to the right side and do the exact same process. So if you head around to the right side, come to the right corner. And on this bottom spruce wood here, we're going to build up two. 
and on the third layer we're going to place a spruce plank. Punch out the two so you have a two block gap and then build seven to left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now again, just like before, we'll expand two blocks to the left using oak planks later on for the jaw. But the main point is having this area here as an eight by six rectangle. So go ahead and place five more layers of eight spruce planks on top. So that is three, four, and five. And again, once you've done that, you'll have a six tall by eight wide area of spruce planks with two blocks of oak uh, planks hanging off the first layer to the left. Now, just like before, what we're gonna do is come to the right side and we're gonna count one, two, three, and on the fourth block, we're gonna place our cobblestone wall on top of a cobblestone wall. And if you're smart, simply just match it up with the other side. Then leave a two block gap, place a quartz slab, then another cobblestone wall, and then another quartz slab. And it's the exact same as you can see as the left side. So exact mirror of the left side. And one thing to point out is the fact that this head is actually nine blocks tall rather than the normal eight. But of course it is wider as well. So that's kind of compensating for it. So this is what the front looks like so far. What we're gonna go ahead and do is link in the middle part, which is this part right here, the spruce planks. So what we're gonna do is join across one, two, three, four, five, six in the middle. And on top of this, we're then gonna start working on the actual face. So we've got this whole area here. And in terms of which layer this is, this is the first, second, third, fourth. So the block, the layer we're building on is the fifth layer. So this is the fifth layer of the head. For the sixth layer, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves our quartz. And we're gonna place one quartz. We also need our blue concrete one blue concrete, two spruce, one blue concrete, and one quartz. And for the next layer, we're gonna do the exact same, but instead of blue concrete, we use the light blue concrete. So we're gonna place one quartz, one light blue concrete, two spruce, one light blue concrete, one quartz. And then what we're gonna do on top of that is we're gonna place two black concrete, two spruce, two black concrete, and you'll know you've done it correctly because the final layer will be six spruce planks, and that will bring you up to the top. So you now have something that looks like that. And that is kind of scary, but I guess that is kind of the point. So what we're now gonna do is grab ourselves our oak planks. And what we did earlier with the oak planks here, we're gonna join them together in the middle by placing two layers of six oak planks. And we're then gonna expand it outwards. So we leave one block, and we're gonna place one, two, three, four, five, six. And there should be a one block gap on this side. So now the upper jaw shape should match the lower jaw shape. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab ourselves our pink terracotta. On the left side, we're gonna place one pink terracotta diagonal down from this quartz here, and we do the exact same on the right side. So this is a second layer. In between this, we're gonna place six oak planks, and then we're gonna place in front of that a row of another six oak planks. In front of that, we're gonna leave one block. We place one oak plank, two black concrete, one oak plank, and you now have a nose area, and you can see it's starting to take shape a bit more so this is the upper jaw for the actual jaw itself in terms of the inside part what we're going to do is grab ourselves our quartz slabs and starting on the lower jaw we're going to start on this front area of uh, spruce planks so we're going to place one quartz slab leave a four block gap and place one quartz slab however in the middle so these two blocks here so on the third and fourth block we're going to place two uh, quartz slabs on the row behind so the second layer in and as you can see, it's probably easier just to look at the screen. You'll see that it's on the second layer in on the fourth and fifth block. So three block gap either side. And that's a lower jaw. On the upper jaw, so this part here, this oak plank, we're going to leave one block. So we place one quartz slab, two block gap, one quartz slab. And just like before, in the middle two blocks, we're going to place on the inner block. So this one right here. And you'll see it matches up in terms of its positioning. And it ends up looking something like this. Now on the outer blocks, so this second layer in, we're gonna place on the first one and the last one, another quartz slab, and that's gonna be your upper jaw. So as you can see, with all the teeth, it ends up looking something like this. Now, the inside of the jaw, or the inside of the mouth, should I say, doesn't look too good right now because it's basically his kind of um, body tone. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is fill in this whole area with black carpets, apart from the outer layer, so make sure that this outer layer here, which goes around the edge, isn't affected. 
and then just make sure that everything else is covered with black carpet. You don't have to do this, this is optional, but I personally think it looks better if you do. Makes it a bit more realistic of the inside of the mouth. And then what we're going to do is behind the two quartz slabs in the middle here, we're going to punch out a 2x2 two two square and place a 2x2 two two of red carpet, which is going to represent the tongue. Now, the next step, and this is again optional as to how you do it, you could use black wool and fill this area in, or you could use um, spruce wood but all you need to go ahead and do is fill in this whole area here this whole layer with spruce planks all the way until it lines up with the rear side of the head so as you can see you'll know you when it's lined up because it will line up with this part right here and the reason we're doing this is again because otherwise if you stand it in the mouth it's going to have like an open area going into the top of his head so that is what it looks like from the inside of the mouth if we step around to the front side you'll see it ends up looking something like this so that is the front side of the face complete. It looks a bit derpy for now, but once we add the ears, it will look really, really nice. So before we do the ears, we're gonna come around to the rear side. And as you saw before, we've got the first there, a two block gap, and then we've got this six tool area. Go ahead and fill in the six tool area. So by placing six blocks for the remaining five layers, and that'll bring you all the way up to the top. Now, what we're gonna do is grab ourselves our cobblestone walls again, and come to the left side, leave a one block gap, place two cobblestone walls, and do the exact same on the right side. So go to the right side, leave a one block gap, two cobblestone walls. And again, that's just added support to add the kind of stretch in between the head. So again, that's nine tall and eight wide, and that's the rear side of the head. And if you want to make this top part here black wall again, just so it matches the bottom part, again, that's up to you. Of course, you don't have to add the tongue, but personally, again, I just like it. It's a bit goofy, but... Uh, kind of makes his smile a bit more friendly rather than creepy and demonic. So again, that's optional. So for the final side, which is the top side, we're going to go ahead and fill that in again with spruce planks. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and add the ears and the hat. So this is what the top of the head looks like once you've filled it in with spruce planks. For the ears, we're going to start off by doing them. We come to the front left corner, so this part here. We're going to count one in, so this block, and we're going to place one spruce plank and behind it a second spruce plank. We're going to build up one, so it's now a 2x2 two two on top. And then, so on the lower half, on the back one, we're going to go two to the left using spruce planks, and same with the top one. And on the front one, we're going to place one oak plank on the bottom one, one spruce plank, and again on top of it, we're going to place two spruce planks. Now underneath the 2x2 two two that's overhanging, we're going to place a 2x2 two two underneath so it kind of curves around and it ends up giving you a shape that looks like this. So again, it's a one block gap from the front and it's two blocks thick, basically a 3x3 three three of spruce planks with one oak plank in the middle. We're now going to repeat this on the right side. So we go over to the right side, we leave one block gap, place two uh, spruce planks, go up one. On the lower half, the two behind blocks, we're going to go two to the right, two to the right. And on the front ones, we go one to the right using oak plank, one spruce plank, and then two spruce planks. Underneath it, we're going to place a two by two of spruce planks, and that is your right ear complete. And if you back up, you'll see they look the exact same. They're symmetrical, and they're quite big, but that's intentional. For the hat, what we're going to go ahead and do is grab ourselves our purple concrete. Now, in line with the second row of the ear, so not the first one, the second one, we're going to leave a one block gap, and we're going to place four purple concrete, one block gap, and we're going to bring it three layers back. So one, two, three. And that will give you a four by four square. And if you notice, there should be a two block gap from the front side, two block gap from the rear side, two block gap from the left, two block gap from the right. So exactly in the center. Now, in the middle of this four by four square, we're going to place a two by two of purple. So again, should be a one block gap on each side, purple wall. And on top of that, we place another two by two of purple concrete. And once you've done that, that's a hat complete. Technically, it's one solid color. But again, it's kind of a metallic shine. So we're going for the same logic as we went with the bow tie. And of course, if you want to change the color of the bow tie, feel free to change the color of the hat. Apart from that, that's pretty much the statue complete. One thing I do want to mention as a potential design change, which is something I played around with, is Freddy himself does actually have kind of like purple kind of tint in his eyes at the top. So what you could do if you really wanted to is replace the black um, concrete above his eyes with purple. And then on the upper half, place two dark oak wood slabs. And it ends up looking like this, which looks kind of cool. I do, uh, I do definitely think it looks nice. Alternatively, you could go ahead and grab some never brick slabs. And that also would work, I would imagine. Haven't tried it out yet, but let's try it. So again, yeah, it looks kind of nice. But personally, I just prefer the black concrete, so I'll stick with that. But with that said, again, you can play around with that. 
that is up to you. Um, try not to do what I've just done there and break the eye. That said, that is the tutorial complete. That's the head complete. And uh, yeah, you now have yourselves your very own Rockstar Freddy. So of course, I'm going to be doing a bunch more of the characters. I've got every single one listed down, working rapidly on the designs. So stay tuned for that. And again, if you did enjoy, a like would very much be appreciated. If you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing and sticking around. And of course, I'll be doing all the FNAF 6 characters as well as the up and coming Star Wars characters. Um, so yeah, if that sounds like your kind of thing, stick around for that. But apart from that, my name has been Tomogomi. And until next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light